manually create grade columns in Grade Center and enter grades. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through how to manually create grade columns in the Blackboard Grade Center. So let's begin by scrolling down to the control panel and clicking on Grade Center and then selecting full grade center. I need to create grade columns for some essays that my students are being manually graded on. To do that, I click create column and this is going to enable me to create a manual grade column. So I'm going to call this one essay one. Don't put anything in the grade center name. It's totally unnecessary. You can put a description in if you want, but again, really not necessary. Now let's talk a little bit about primary display and secondary display. Students will only see whatever you select in the primary display. Only faculty members will see both primary display and secondary display. So for example, if you leave score as the primary display and the essay is worth 100 points and the student gets 80 out of 100 points, that's what they will see when they check my grades. They will see 80 out of 100. If I come down to secondary display and as an instructor, I want to see not only their score but also their percentage, I would set secondary display as percentage and then I would also see 80% for that student. I could do it the other way around too. I could select percentage for the student and score, but that means that when I enter the grades, I need to enter the percentage. So I'm going to select score and percentage. Now I'm not going to worry about category just now. We're going to keep this very simple. This essay is worth a maximum of 100 points. Now this does not prevent you from entering more than 100 points. So be careful that you only enter up to the maximum allowed that you've set for the column. You can, if you wish, create a grading rubric for an individual grade column. We're going to skip grading period and we're going to come down to the final part, which is options. Presumably you want the grades included in the Grade Center calculations, but if for some reason you don't, you would simply select no for this grade column. Also, presumably you want the student to see the grade column, but if you don't, one way to hide the column from students is to select no here. I'm going to skip statistics because we don't recommend it. Then I'll click submit. Now, whenever you create a new grade column, it always shows all the way over to the right. So I'm going to use my horizontal scroll bar here to move all the way over. And here is the column that I've just created. If I wanted to edit any of the column information, I could click next to the column heading and select the drop down. And I have all of these various options. Since it's a manual grade column, I could also delete it. If I wanted to edit the column information, for example, if I made an error on the points that I'd assigned, I could click edit column information and then I could change any of the settings that I had selected here. And when I'd made my settings changes, I would click submit and that would update the settings for that grade column. Now, in order to enter grades for the student, all I do is click into the top column and enter the first student's grade. So I am going to give this student 75. And now all I do is press the enter key and it automatically moves my cursor down into the next cell. I'm going to give this student a 90 and press enter. My preview user student, which I'm going to use for demonstration purposes in a moment, this student is going to get an 80 out of 100. I press enter and now I move my way down. And now I'm done. I've entered all of my grades for all of my students. Now. I have 75 is the score, that's my primary display, and as you can see, I have percentages showing in parentheses for my secondary display. Now let's see how this looks to the student. To see a true student view, I just click this Enter Student Preview button. As a student, I'm going to click My Grades. Now remember, your students only see their own grade. They don't see anybody else's grade. When they click on my grades, in this case, since essay one was the most recent column that I created, it will be all the way at the bottom because in the, in the faculty members grade center view, the columns move from left to right. For students, from left to right is the same as top to bottom. So the rightmost column is the bottommost column for students in my grades. And I can see that I see 80 out of 100. If I had selected percentage as the primary display, the student would have seen 80% for this grade column. Now, simply repeat this process to create as many manually created grade columns as you require in Grade Center.